Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it has been a while. I'm going to pre-record a few videos today. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to go over a few things that I know have really been <clears throat> out there uh, new and uh, some of you have had questions on. Uh, don't move my hair. I have like a ton of flyaways. I don't know what is going on with it but it's had a mind of its own so we're going to just leave it be. So today is, I'm going to talk about the um, Carity Come As You Are palette. It has been some time since I ordered from Carity. I got the Rosé All Day palette from there. Um, and I was not really a huge fan of it. It was very patchy and um, just not that great quality to me. Um, I've had other Carity palettes that are phenomenal. So that was a disappointment for me. I know a lot of others love it. Anyway, this caught my eye. And yes, it is totally Nirvana. Um, their song, which I love. Anyway, so on their website, it says the grunge movement of the 90s was all about rebellion and breaking the status quo. This palette was inspired by the idea of being different and standing out. So go ahead, express yourself. It retails for $25 and it is available on the website. While I ordered that, I ordered the Picante palette. Um, I don't know if it was for free shipping or what. I never know what my thoughts are when I'm ordering. But this is absolutely gorgeous. This is not my review, but... Just thought I'd show this with you. Yes, I have all these colors. Uh, did I need it? No, but I got it. So there we are with that. I have not used it. I don't know if I'm going to use it or save it for a giveaway. But it's a beautiful looking palette. So here is the Come As You Are palette. That is, This is the outside carton. And on the back, I love how it shows... All the colors in color and then the names really boldly underneath and um, and it has ingredients 24 months shelf life it is cruelty free and vegan um, so yeah there we go okay yeah I'm counting there are 15 shades and here is the palette which carries the exact same thing as the outside carton which I love. I hate it when you get really nice outside carton and then the inside palette is just blank like black or just whatever but no they carried it over it does it is raised a little bit it is stunning it has that little alien head and the light bolt on the back again bold colors and bold lettering so I can read it without my glasses, which is great. It has a really cool mirror right here with a zigzag. I love that. It gives it like that kind of just retro, for me, retro kind of cool vibe. And then here are the colors. I absolutely love this palette. Here are the swatches, starting with the upper row. And then the bottom. They did not swatch very well. Um, I'll tell you, I had to go over um, the blue right here, this blue one. This is this one right here. Swatch phenomenally. Um, that bright yellow right there, I had to swatch like twice. Um, but I have used it a couple times. And I want to be able to give you a good review. Um, this is what I'm wearing on my eyelids today. I have this deep blue called um, Duh. And that is what it was called. Um, right on the outside and in the inner corner. And then I have Sight, the yellow, which I love this neon yellow, in the middle for a halo. And then I am wearing Cool Beans right here on the crease. And I am wearing Seattle right here above it. 
kind of buffed it out. I'm wearing Drew right here on the brow bone. On the inner corning, corning, I don't know where that came from. On the inner corner, I'm wearing Ugg right here on the inner corners. And see, am I wearing, oh yeah, underneath, I'm wearing Bogus right here. And oh, snap, right here, which I just kind of like buffed out the Bogus shade. And Liv right here. I don't know if you can even see it. Okay, so this retails for $25. Carity tends to have a lot of sales. Um, $25 for a 15 shadow palette is not that bad. I, I've spent way more than that. But um, I'm going to say I, I love, love, love the shades I bought the palette for, which is that deep, deep blue right here. That goes on just beautiful. And then this one right here, Psych, I have to build it up a little to get it to really pop. Maybe spray your brush a little and pack it on, but it is gorgeous. Um, the only shades I am not real thrilled with is Bogus. Is like really, it feels like wax paper the way that it kind of rubs off. It swatches fairly well. I have not used it on my lids. I just used it today, so I haven't played around with it that much. But um, other than that, I have I've gone into the greens, the yellow. Uh, I have not touched this uh, beautiful like magenta shade yet, but I've used almost this whole palette and I am pretty impressed. Uh, some of the shades can be just a tad bit patchy, but really nothing you can't work with and nothing that makes it not worth it. I am really actually very happy with this palette. I'm happy with the price I paid for it. And I absolutely love the looks I come up with. I tend to gravitate to the yellow and that blue. I have a video I had done with those colors and I was asked what I used and this is the palette I had used and they just, these two combos together are just really beautiful and um, really, really are eye-catching. This is a beautiful shade right here too. This magenta called Gwen beautiful so i have to say that i can truly recommend this palette i think it is stunning i think it is a cool concept i love the outside packaging and on the inside it comes with this insert it says this palette helped feed an animal in need as a hundred percent cruelty free brand we have a big soft spot in our hearts for animals for every palette we sell, we donate to our local SPCA through our Palettes for Paws initiative. It doesn't say how much they donate, but just the fact that they donate is really neat. And I do appreciate that. And I think it is really great of them to do that. They are not really a big, big brand, but they're, they're quickly moving along and doing very well. And um, so let me know if you've used this palette, what you think of it. Should I keep it or put it in a giveaway? And let me know if you have gotten this palette, thought about it, or even seen it, um, if it catches your eye. And um, yeah, so I have to say, I'm very happy with that palette. And I give it two thumbs up. It blends very, very well. It's very pigmented. Again, some of the colors are a little bit just patchy, but they are workable and it was great. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I will see you very soon.